So let's talk about ways to put your immune system on beast mode. They are forgotten jewels that many of us have taken for granted. I know I did, but if you implement these, it'll make it easier to offset disease and illnesses. So let's get into it. One of the biggest weapons for health is the sun. The vitamin D created by the exposure to the sun not only helps with things like healthy bones, optimal heart function, cell growth, but did you know that humans can actually photosynthesize the sun's energy? We can photosynthesize energy directly or by having enough chlorophyll in our blood when we're exposed to the sun. The chlorophyll molecule continues to absorb the sun's energy and transfers that energy into you. So it's critical that we get the sun, especially since there's so many diseases associated with low vitamin D like diabetes, high blood pressure, multiple sclerosis, asthma, children, cancer, and the list goes on. But the key to getting the biggest benefit is your diet and hydration have to be on point. So eat green first, then get some sun for free energy and a little extra immune boost. The next benefit is grounding. Do you remember how good it felt as a child to run outside barefoot? Well, there was a reason. Grounding or earthing is the process of reconnecting to the earth's subtle, natural, and electrical energy. The grounding points on the body are the palm of the hands and bottoms of the feet. So grounding happens whenever you touch or walk barefoot on the grass, sand, dirt, or concrete. Throughout the day, we may pick up extra charge or extra electrons from our phones, Wi-Fi, microwaves, stoves, computers, driving in our cars, carpet, or other electrical devices, you name it. This extra charge is noise as far as the body is concerned. When touching the earth, a path is created for this extra charge to flow out of the body or into the body, whichever is necessary, in order to bring the body back to its most natural, balanced electrical state. This removing or pairing of electrons rids the body of free radicals. This is where our immune system is most deficient. It's the natural energetic state that humans experienced throughout history when we lived in direct contact with the earth. As time went on, we started wearing shoes and became disconnected and lost this little added benefit. Some of us may go days, weeks, or even months without touching the earth, which means we're carrying around these extra charges and free radicals inside of us. Here's a picture of your blood while grounding. You can see the blood is in motion when naturally exposed to a ground. This reduced blood viscosity makes it easier for the blood to deliver oxygen and nutrients to your cells. The Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine says, grounding appears to be one of the simplest and yet most profound interventions for helping reduce cardiovascular risk and cardiovascular events. The benefits just don't stop there, folks. Some of the benefits include and not limited to improve sleep, reduce pain, inflammation, more antioxidants, accelerate healing of injuries, less clumping of red blood cells, and reduce blood viscosity. Now keep in mind, walking barefoot indoors on surfaces like your carpet, wood, or tile is not grounding because these surfaces are insulated from the earth. The easiest way to ground is to touch the earth. You can walk outside barefoot. Trees are grounded, so you can touch a tree. And if you want to take it to a whole nother level, garden barefoot. So reclaim the full potential of your immune system. Eat green, get sun, and stay grounded. Like this video, share, and click the bell for more self-sufficient tips like this.